What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another tip that's going to help all you guys get better at Madden. Going to maybe make you guys switch playbooks. Check out this Miami Dolphins playbook because that's the playbook I'm in for this tip. You know, before we get started, though, I want to tell you guys it's October. The football season is fully underway. I know you guys have been watching and having a lot of fun, but the leaves are changing. It's getting a little colder out there. And what that means, it's hoodie season. So make sure you guys get your We Are Men hoodies. We got them on all. We got them zip up, pull up, and whatever, you, whatever type of hoodie you want. We have it, you know, make sure you guys go ahead and support the man community, support Needed Gaming, go ahead and get you guys a hoodie, get ready for the winter time, and make sure you get two, because women love to steal your hoodies, fellas, so if you leave it around, she will steal it, and she'll make it hers, so make sure you get two, the link below is in the description, the NeededGamingStore.com, so you go ahead and get some of, some of the merch that we put out for the man community. Also, if you want to watch me play, you want to watch any games that I, I put together live, you can go ahead and hit that link to my Twitch channel. I do stream a lot, and I do talk about how I play and talk about how I break down different plays while I play, so it can definitely help you out. Also, man, if, if you guys like anything you see, other than this, want to see the real offense that I run and the real defense that I run, my eBooks are available at Madden Turf. Hit that link below in the description. And if some of these tips are making you get up to the point where you think you have to play for money, you think you want to gamble, because that's the best competition in the world. I mean, obviously, the leaderboards are great. Head-to-head, -head, my head-to-head -head is awesome. But the real competition is going to take you to the next level when you start playing for a little bit of money. It doesn't have to be a lot. A lot of, a lot of great players started playing $3 games, $5 games, whatever it may be. But you really will get into some better men and play against some better people. So the link for Players Lounge is below. You can check out Players Lounge. It is the easiest way to play for money in Madden or 2K or Fortnite, whatever it may be. God bless you guys that are good at other games. I'm only good at Madden. This is the game I love, and this is why I love it. We're going to get into this Miami Dolphins playbook. We're going to talk about formations. We're going to talk about passing. Not necessarily a setup. I'm just going to talk about you know what makes me a good passer and what you need to do to make sure you're a good passer and what can just really improve your game. So let's get into it a little bit. <clears throat> We're going to start. This is out of the Dolphins playbook. Like I said, I'm playing against the Bills here. And this is, what are we going with? Guns, halfback, double weak. It's one of my favorite formations. in the Mostly because I'm able to block both sides. I have a running back on the left, and I have a tight end on the right. So that way I can block. If there's center pressure on the left, I can block my running back. If there's center pressure on the right, I can block my tight end. If they're sending dual edge, I can block both people. I can max protect all the way up the field if I want. Also, when I run the ball inside zone, outside zone, sweep, base, whatever it may be, I have an extra tight end on the run side of the ball. So that's a really effective way to run out of shotgun. And that's one of the reasons Bunch is so effective is it has a blocker on the left, a blocker on the right, and you can max protect real quick. So essentially by using the max protect feature, you can block two people then use another hot route so essentially you're doing three hot routes at once and that's something you got to look for when you're picking the main formation you want to pass out of that's definitely something you want to look for it just gives you the ability to go ahead and stop any pressure also run the ball and if people can't blitz you they're going to get frustrated and you're going to be able to do whatever you want you can send out five or you can max protect it's really an effective way for to move the ball offensively and that's what you have to look for in a formation to start start your offensive game plan and this is a great one doubles halfback week this is the miami dolphins playbook and the main play this has been really good to man in a while there's main plays that i want to look at right now really is slot shake and mostly because it is post route on the left receiver it's much like the pass sale post much like the post i use in, in new orleans going to get over any cloud zones yellow zones whatever you run off the deep blues so it's where you want to throw the ball and the key we have to figure out is what else can I do on the field to have other options to throw the ball to? That post will dictate where the user has to go. And that's pretty much the key for every passing play. It's pretty much been the key for passing plays since Madden's come out. Is you have to make their user guard something. Because then you can be you can predict where their where their user's gonna be. And that's what we want as man players. We want a predictable defense. So we're gonna call slash shake. We're just gonna go dollar here. We're gonna go random dollar. Now I'm on the left hash here. You see it's shifting this thing. So it might I might have pressure off the right. You know, this is the defensive look that I'm gonna get pressure off the right here. So that's what I talked about with having both your tight end and your running back here. You can go ahead and block the run block the tight end. So I'm gonna block that pressure off that side. So that way, so I can do a little setup like that, a little drag, still have my running back route, but I still want to throw Kenny Stills if I have enough time. 
But with this setup, I have two quick options in both the running back and Danny Amendola over the middle. So if this pressure doesn't get picked up, if for some reason just blocking my tight end wasn't enough, then I have two options to throw the ball to really quickly. Also, I still have Kenny Sills if I have enough time to go ahead and wait for Kenny Stills to develop. But with a blitz look, I really don't think that's an option, but we'll see how the play turns out. Blitz is off the right, but I can hit Kenny Stills here. Boom. Right over the top. That's really just because it was a cover two look. It really, really wasn't as much pressure as I had thought. But then we're going to do it. He's going to do it again. He's going to send the same pressure over here on the right side. So let's go ahead and do the same setup. So I have two quick options to throw the ball to, but I really want to throw to Kenny Stills. We'll see how it goes down. He's getting somebody free, and boom, I got somebody free there. So right there, he super overloaded, so blocking my tight end really wasn't enough. And here we see that this is this is going to be, whatchamacallit, this is going to be the uh, crossfire. The way the, the, the linebackers just stepped down lets you know it's crossfire. So what I want to do here, I'm going to block both people. This is going to be a max protect play. So he's going to send both linebackers at me. Hopefully it doesn't come in. doesn't come all the way in. We're able to wait long enough. Ah, got hit at the last second there. My max protect did not pick up. Uh, it picked up the blitz. He just got shattered at the last second. Once again, now remember last time that I can do this th this year in Madden. So now that we got seven blockers, two extra blockers on the right. We're on the same setup. Super, we super covered it right there. Able hit Kenny Stills over the middle. That's what I mean. Have been able to just max protect and block pretty much any pressure that you want. This is really a huge asset to offensive formation. You know, it, it got me the first time, and that's going to happen. People are going to have blitzes where they overload too much, and they get by, and they get somebody free, and they they sack you. But you have to learn from that and say, you know, what can I do? What And, and it's not necessarily always the routes in, in the formation that are good, but the ability to pick up pressure in a formation is definitely a big deal. So this one, I don't really know what it looks like here. We're just going to run a little base setup, one that I like. I want to fade Gazek? I don't know how to say Gazek, Gazicki, yeah, whatever. And then we can double, we can double drags. <clears throat> now you need that streak or that fade just to run off the deep blues. It's tough to run this play like this without that streak or a fade on somebody. But I still want to use Devonte Parker. I don't want to just waste Devonte Parker on a fade every time, and I have to switch up my combination. So I'm going to use the tight end here on a fade, <clears throat> and Amendola and Parker on little drags too. We see just a little three-man pressure. I have my drags open. But here's that post route. That's why it's so dominant. I think that was match coverage or, or soft squat. I just can't run with Kenny Stills. Blocking that running back there really gave me all day, and I can hit that post route. So, like, this is one of them just the easiest. Max Protect drag Amendola is just an easy setup out of here that we can run. Get to this side. See the space that Kenny Stills has there. You know, it's just a huge play with this post route. Now, obviously, if he covered it, I could have hit my drag. I could have hit underneath. But you always have to just mix up because, obviously, you don't want to just set the same setup every single time. You know, there's a bunch of different things you can do to kind of confuse your opponent. You can motion this guy over. and He's oh, maybe it's not the same play. Maybe it's a different play. But, no, it's the same play, buddy. But this time, I'm going to have an in route going the other way. I'm going to still be max protected. Still have all day, hopefully. We do have all day because of that protection. Hit Kenny Stills again. <clears throat> Boom. That's a way of just disguising what play you're going to run. Here we go. We see crossfire again. So let's go ahead with the max protect. This time we're going to hitch Amendola. Hopefully we can pick up these two linebackers coming through the gaps here. Ah, uh, we didn't. You know, that's Madden. You know, if you guys have been playing against 335 or Dollar or whatever it may be, sometimes they don't pick those guys up and you got to live with it. Uh, here's another setup that I like. Streak Parker. This is pretty much just like my setup in New Orleans. Fade him. So now Amendola is my fade guy. You need a fade guy every play or a streak guy every play. Now I made Amendola that guy. I motioned him over last time I made him in route. Whatever route combinations you can do, you know, just to keep their eye off of that post route because I want to throw the ball to Kenny Stills. So here we're going to have the tight end on a drag. We're going to have Devontae Parker on a post, or we're going to have Kenny Stills, hopefully Kenny Stills, on that post route. See, this is just, man, cheese and 51. Just I, I think EA just got me right there. What happened? After all that breakdown, yeah. Number 70, man. Get you a number 70. Look where his hands are. Clint, Clint, this is not how you play tackle in the NFL. Clint, you can't have your hands down at your at your knees here. 
Like what? I don't know what happened there. But anyway, you <laughs> can't get mad at plays like that. He's got going to go on to the next one. I'm gonna do the same setup though, because I felt like I had everybody open. I really like this one because I'm gonna have the tight end. I'm gonna have Devontae Parker or quick, and then I'm gonna have Stills. I want to throw the ball to Kenny Stills. Uh, we have our tight end here. We'll go ahead and get a couple yards. We've been. You gotta give your tight end a ball every once in a while. Hopefully, he breaks the tackle. Hopefully, uh, falls forward, gets me a nice eight right there. Boom. So pretty much, I have this play. You know, that has a lot of cute routes. You know, it has a run at tight end wheel. It has a shake route in the middle. It has a table route, but. Well, all these routes, I really only care about Kenny Stills' route. Now, you guys can experiment with the, with the obviously, the table. We know the table route's money. But the shake route, if you like it or not. I haven't really experimented with it because I know how. Here we go with the crossfire again. Let me spotlight this guy. We're going to pinch, too. We got max protector. There's no way this should work. Oh, we had all day there. Here we go. And Ryan Tannehill, you're the greatest. But like I said, you guys can experiment with this shake route. See if you like it. It's definitely something over the middle you can throw. This tight end wheel route's an option too, especially when they hard flat cover three like that because that post route will take away all the deep blues. But for me, mostly this play is pretty much all about that post route there to um, Kenny Stills. Pretend he'll make a plays on the run. You know, when you find a route like that, it's pretty much a, it's between the blocking that I showed you guys, the ability to block both sides. Kenyon Drake can go this side. You know, max protect and then also have a route that's un unguardable is really the, the basis of an offensive game plan. You know, and that's pretty much what I want to start you guys with this Miami Dolphins. Halfback doubles week is definitely something that I love. You can set up these other four receivers any way you want just to really maximize your... Uh, your ability to throw to other people but we really want to throw to kenny stills that's the goal here throw to kenny stills find a way to distract the user because they're going to try to cover kenny stills but if they have to cover 15 different in routes and drags and, and you mix up your motions and do things like this it's going to make it harder for them to just to sit on kenny stills you know be, and you got to take these little short ones catch a little block right there boom so that's what it's about I hope you guys enjoy this. I, I could break down some other plays out of this formation. We'll take a look at some other ones that I really like out of this formation because, like I said, they you can block everything out of this, and it's definitely something where you can run. We have an inside zone. We have draw. We have off tackle over there. Read option as well. But the, the other play I'd like to run, obviously, is PA double post, mostly because what's going to happen is we talked about the post to Kenny Stills. This is going to go ahead and have... A similar post is not the same post, but it's going to have the same thing over here, kind of the Devontae Parker. So essentially what I can do is, since you're so used to Kenny Stills running the post on the other route, or on the other play, we can come back here and just have the route here to Devontae Parker, which isn't as good. But if it's cover two, and that was cover three match, that's why it was so hard for him to get open on that one. It's not as good, but it's definitely a good mix-up. With your other play, we can do set up something like that. This looks like cover four. Boom, there it is. I was gonna make cover two. Cover two with a mid read. <clears throat> so it just switches up who's on the post. You always gotta have that. Obviously, that that first play I showed you guys is great. But if you have this, if you mix this one in every once in a while, it's really gonna throw them for a loop between all the little motions. This is man coverage. Somebody could get open for me, Dolphin. Somebody. But that's just another play you guys can mix. And I hope you guys enjoy this tip. Obviously, it's a way to use the protection of a formation and use a killer route in the formation and just use the other four players on the field to give you options to throw the ball to.